Hey guys, Chris again, uh, back with some juice reviews. Um, they also know me as the real C-Mac on uh, ECF, Vapotron, uh, YouTube, everywhere else. Uh, we're going to go back to a Canadian company today, and it is Stinky Canuck, stinkycanuck.com. Can we get a zoom on the label? Well, uh, that's the best zoom I could get, stinkycanuck.com. All right, uh, let me do one thing here. Alrighty, uh, we're going to do three ju juices from stinkyconnect.com. Uh, da -da -da -da. Three newer flavors. Uh, I apologize for not getting these done sooner. I've had a string of uh, things go wrong lately, so uh, I'm trying to get back into the uh, juice reviews here as I am backlogged. Um, let's start. Well, let's uh, list them off first. First, we have Tarty Party. Tarty Party. Then we have Raspberry Pinto. Raspberry Pinto. And last but not least, you tell us. There we go. All right, we're going to start with the uh, Tarty Party. Tarty Party. Whew, lemon. It smells like a lemon. I'm not sure the uh, PG-VG ratio on these. Uh, I believe they are slightly heavier on the VG, not by much though. Uh, I could be wrong. They seem pretty uh, uh, non-viscous, so maybe these are... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to guess. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, V3 Atomizer, 2 ohms. And we're on the Z Max. We're gonna have it at 3.4 volts. This is on the uh, RMS setting, so it is actually 3.4 volts. And uh, let's try it out. Tardy party. 12 milligram nick, by the way. All right, lots of vapor. All right, the flavor of Tardy Party, definitely lemon. Um, very, very uh, prominent. The slightest hint of baked goods in this. I'm not sure if it's me or just me, but uh, <clears throat> I get lemon, lots of lemon. Yeah, and just like a little bit of uh, baked goods. And I know this is supposed to be like a lemon tart um, by the name. Uh, so I think it's hitting the nail on the friggin' head here. Um, and you know I famously don't like baked goods taste but here it's so slight and it's just on the exhale it's like the crust on a lemon tart um, really really good flavor here uh, I really you know for what it's supposed to be a lemon tart uh, I'd say it's it's dead on Yeah, Tardy Party, uh, that's a good one for sure. Uh, the throat hit, uh, not really feeling 12. Uh, feels a bit lower than that, but uh, I'll let it slide on that one. Uh, let's move on to uh, Raspberry Pinto. There we go. Uh, let's try it out. Uh, let me smell it first. It smells like raspberry. Okay, the vapor's good. Throat is pretty decent on this one too. 
Um, still feels a little lower than a 12, but not a big deal. Um, the flavor is raspberry, okay? Uh, I don't really like raspberry flavoring uh, in my vapes. I haven't found one that I like yet. I actually kind of like the aftertaste of this, but it's just the way uh, you know raspberry goes across my taste buds. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad juice. I'm saying if you like raspberry juices, uh, you know this one is just predominantly raspberry. There's lots of it. Uh, it's it's not super strong. It, there's definitely a bold flavor to it. So uh, for a raspberry fan, raspberry pinto would be a good one. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to uh, you tell us. There we go. You tell us. All right. So we're gonna. Oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. Yes, I've made a mess. Okay. Uh, uh, you tell us now. They don't tell you what this flavor is, from what I understand. Definitely pineapple. Something else in there. I don't know what that is. Let's try it. All right, so the vapor's good. Throat hit's pretty good. <clears throat> Still feels weaker than a 12 to me. All of these have. Mm. Probably because they use the high VG content. Um, the flavor, man. I was not expecting <clears throat> what I'm tasting. Definitely some pineapple in there, but there's something. I don't know if there's a tobacco in here or I don't know. I'd have to say there's almost a tobacco in here. Something earthy, like something real earthy. You know, you get that initial sweetness of the pineapple, and it's quickly uh, kind of obliterated by a earthy taste. If I don't know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say there's this is uh, like a fruit tobacco or something. I might be way off, um, but that's definitely what I'm tasting in this. I don't know. My vapes, I like, I like bright, you know, clean, crisp flavor, uh, fruity, sweetness, tart. This one is kind of the opposite of all that. Um, uh, it's, you know, I got a bit of that pineapple, but then it's just kind of, uh, you know, grounds you. It's, it's more of a, like I said, it's more akin to tobacco vapes I've had. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, can't say I'm a fan of this one at all. Uh, you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess. But uh, uh, I was kind of expecting something tropical, but <clears throat> it's it's not there for me. So you tell us. I'm telling you that I'm not a big fan of that one. Uh, so now you tell me what's in it. Uh, I'd like to know. Uh, then we got. Tardy Party, that one was an awesome, just you know, nail on the head, 
for a lemon tart. And the raspberry pinto. Raspberry fans, you're going to love it. Uh, that's all I got. Can, uh, StinkyCanuck.com. I said that's all I got, but I haven't done pricing, so let's do that. Because I always forget to do the pricing. Uh, don't forget, if you're going to buy liquid at stinkyconnect.com, you need to create an account uh, in order to see all their e-liquid offerings. Uh, 10 ml bottles of the uh, uh, juice are $7.99. Okay, you can get a, a 6 times 6 ml sampler for $19.95. And I believe their 30 ml liquids are 18 something oh 16.99 for the 30 mils so that's actually come down since I last looked uh, so you know they're a little on the uh, the pricey side uh, not as expensive as some vendors definitely not as cheap but uh, you know for the quality of juice they're putting out I think it's a, a fair thing to ask uh, so for real this time that's all I got and uh, thanks for watching and I'll be back for more reviews